Tonight should have been one of celebration for a little boy, his fifth birthday. Josue Ramirez Marinero never got the chance. He drowned in the Elkhorn River, police say at the hands of his half brother. Tonight, though, Josue's family remembers the good moments. KETV News Watch 7's Jeremy Maskell joins us live. And, Brandy, the good moments, I'm told, include so much laughter with such an energetic child. The family told supporters there, even though Josue had less than five years on earth, they take some comfort in his eternal life now with his mother, who also died earlier this month. As families arrive with toys to donate and cake for Josue sits out, his photo reminds everyone they cannot celebrate how a family deserves. Just to remember him, you know, and just to keep in our mind and our hearts. Happy birthday! Balloons go up in memory and prayer, and it's all this group can do for Josue after a heartbreaking week in early May when investigators found Josue Ramirez Marinero's body in the Elkhorn River, days after finding his mother's body, Jesus Ismania Marinero, a woman who family say worked to give her children the best life she could, a hope that lives on with little Angel, Marinero's youngest son, found alive, now back with family. That's the gift that my aunt left us. There was just something that struck me. Lydia Serafino attends church in Elkhorn. Their faith community gathered donations after hearing about Angel and learning about the loss of Josue. When I saw that they had found uh, Josue's body, I just felt like that was in our area, on our turf. And so I just reached out to our church leaders and I said, uh, I asked them what we could do to love them, and they, they're like, just you go ahead and uh, we'll give you the charge on this. Dozens gathered near 22nd and Martha Tuesday to celebrate Josue's life, to remember the energetic child, and to offer whatever support they can for his little brother's future. He's our angel, he's our miracle. And we are told the group A Hand to Hold, which is supporting the family through this, will announce funeral arrangements for Jesus and Josue tomorrow. Their accused killer, Josue's half brother, could be in court Thursday to waive a preliminary hearing. Brandy, back to you. Jim.